with the zigzags the last time I brought this bike out it was night so I didn't get a whole lot of good footage of the way it looks and stuff like that but uh I think it turned out really nice now I do have a bunch of accessories up on my handlebars so can't really see those very well but I'll get a closer shot here in just a second I just got done taking Oreo for a bike ride Put your feet in there. There you go. <laughs> Is that better? You feel better now? So I did have the dog basket on the front of it. But uh, when he's not with me, I don't leave it on there. Well, yeah, that's, that's the way they look. The white wall tires get really, really dirty. So there is some cleaner that you can get for white wall tires. It's bleach white. And I... And it's made for cars, but it'll work on these as well. Or just soapy water with dial soap will help. Up here on my handlebars from left to right, we have my mirror, which is a half knee mirror, which are the best. Uh, they're made really well. This is their newer style. I have a bunch of these. Uh, one day I will do a review on them. It'll probably be included in my accessory video. Then I uh, got your left and right turn signal for my helmet, which I also have to do a review on this helmet. So stay tuned for that. Bluetooth speaker, it's a Tribit Stormbox Micro. They do have a new one out now, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't have that one yet. Got my phone holder. I'll leave a link in the description for that. I got my water bottle holder right here, which is portable, it's Velcroed. So I can take it with me anywhere. Put it on any of my bikes. It's kind of why I have a lot of these things that are Velcro that I can just strap on another bike when I go out. Then we got our bell here, which is kind of permanent, but I bought four of them on AliExpress for really cheap. The first one I bought was like 16 bucks on Amazon. And then I'm like, I really like this bell, so I'm going to buy a bunch of them. And I got them for like... 16 bucks for four of them on AliExpress. I'll leave a link in the description to both of those. Then I got my bag back here, which is uh, Sahu. I think it's the brand name. I have another bag by them that goes on the uh, Rideal. It's a frame bag. But this is just like the Rock Bros, and it has uh, a lot of room. Got my Insta360 back there and my uh, hydraulic brake kit for fixing these brakes on this bike then it's got a water bottle holder and a place for a light I just zip tied it to the the buckle strap attachment there then it's got uh, panniers that fold out on each side so it's really nice this one's cheaper than the rock bros one uh, so I'll leave a link in the description for that it's really well made it's rigid uh, a lot of the other bike bags that you get for the rear rack um, kind of just like collapse and they don't hold their shape this one does I really like it and finally we got the bikeroo seat on here I've been testing this one out for about a month now um, as well as I have the cloud 9 cruiser seat that's just like this but Actually, I think this one's a little bit more soft than that one, to be honest with you. I like the, the color and the stitching, and it kind of matches everything really well. I like the bag. It's got that same kind of pattern. And then here's my tool bag that has literally pretty much every tool you'll need. My dog's goggles. <laughs> and then all my uh, repair kit stuff if I need it air pump things like that one day I will go through this 
whole thing with you guys and let you see what all is in there. If that's something you're interested in, comment down below and let me know. I'll uh, be doing a video about that soon. Yeah.